If you have just landed on this channel, this is where I do cycling videos, both inspirational and entertaining, and I do love a deep dive road bike review. So if that sounds up your alley, consider subscribing below. So this video came about from a deep dive review I'm going to be doing shortly on the best Criterion bike that I have ever built. I'm riding it now, it's my first ride on it, and I'm partnering with SRAM Australia for this build. We're putting Zip 808s on it and SRAM 1 by and as a result, I was out visiting SRAM Australia head office about a week or so ago, and I met with Rob Eva, who heads up SRAM Australia, and he took me up to his office, and on his wall next to his office, was sitting this incredible bomb. And I said to Rob, mate, do you mind if we take that downstairs and we do a little video on it? And he said, not a problem. So this is Rob's very expensive and very nice Borm road bike. Well, Borm's always been a bit of a mystery to me. Um, I've known Darren for a long time. I don't even care to know how long it is. Who's Darren? Darren Borm is the owner. Oh, yeah, so okay. uh, he's... Um, down Surf Coast Way, down Geelong Way, and uh, it's got a great little business down there, very professional, very clean, um, exclusive. You know, and I've always been a bit of a mystery. I've lived on the mountain bike side, and uh, Darren said to me one day, he goes, Rob, I remember you riding those Shazangs, the titanium bikes, and I've always loved the titanium. I've loved the feel, I've loved the ride, um, you know, the, the, that mysterious gray look about it. I've really enjoyed it. And uh, Darren says, we should build a bike for you one day. And I said, oh, you know, it, doesn't matter, I'm not, um, you know, I'm not riding that much mountain biking at the moment, I'm doing a bit more road and gravel, and he goes, no, no, we're going to build a bike for you, and it was probably a three-month process to get me measured up uh, down there with Ryan, and um, I was blown away, and he found a couple of faults with my pedalling and my, uh, my cleat set up straight away, and I was quite intrigued with his whole setup from the start to the finish, it was amazing. Wow. Um, so right away he found all those problems, and then I took my three best, he says, bring your three best bikes down here, and... We'll measure them up, we'll do the size, you know, and we'll get the saddle right and everything. And he put me on this bike and changed around a bunch of things. Went away for a few weeks, went down there and said, right, you've got to ride at 200 watts for half an hour, go and do this and do this. And um, after a bit of playing around, he goes, right, I'm about to push a button and see what you think. So he pushed the button, he goes, you know, so this bike, and it's, uh, it's all um, hydraulic. And it moved me back to this position that felt awfully unfamiliar to me. I'm like, this is horrible. He goes, that's where you were. We'll go back to where we've reset you. Wow. So he reset my position. And, you know, when you're buying a bike uh, from a bike shop, the majority of the time, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, what's the word? Um, it's a comparison. You know, like they're trying to go, right, it's a 54, 56, 58, and you would fit in that size. That's the geometry you're going to like. That's the head angles you like. That's the bottom bracket you're going to like. But it's not um, going to be exactly what, you want or prefers you. So Darren came up with um, a design for me, and this is my new bike here, and yeah, he said okay. to me, you're gonna love the geometry, and he didn't tell me anything about it, and I went and rode it, and I was just blown away by one, how comfortable it was climbing. Um, there was no harsh back kickback on any of the bumps or anything on my climb, but on the downhills I could find, I was pedaling through corners where previously I was a bit nervous, ready to break on. So yeah, right. um, my cornering speed's a lot higher. I'm What's running the fastest a little bit you cornered that on? Downhill. Um, well, I've got one corner that I can consistently go through at about 80k an hour. It's a, it's a pretty hard corner. Not many people can ride it through at that speed. Well, I'm doing 86k an hour on this one on my GPS, so wow. give or take a k. Yeah, right. And um, I've improved my time by about eight to ten seconds on this downhill, and I've done this one thousands of times. So right. it's quite easy bike on the downhill, yeah. and uh, it's noticeably uh, an advantage on the uphill because it's not um, beating me up. It's not stiff at all. Is it a race geometry? No, it's not. It's a relaxed geometry, so right. it's a little bit of a hybrid. So right. he's slackened off the geometry. He's got a little bit lower bottom bracket on it. Yeah. And I've asked him, what's actual size is it? And he said, well, it's a Rob Eva. That's what size it is. So yeah, right. It's a one-off. And every frame that he builds is a one-off. Yeah, right. So um, he doesn't do, you know, a 54, and it's going to fit everyone. He's, yeah. he's not into that. He'll build a frame specifically for everyone. And the forks, are they the carbon forks? Yeah, it's a carbon fork. Yeah. Um, I think that's... Um, uh, that's that's a generic fork of some stuff, but there's lots of different geometries on forks and different yeah. standards. But we, one thing the parameters we had to work around, it had to be electronic, so there's no holes in the cable. Yeah, okay. It's got to be ETAP, and it needed to be disc brake. Yeah, okay. So apart from that, it was open. Um, you know, I'd like to be able to have the uh, application to run a bit bigger tyre if I wanted, up to 32, 34 mil tyre. Yeah. Um, you know, as we said. You never know where the ride's going to end up. You never know where they're going to end up on a gravel road or all the rest of it. So, you know, I, I do have the application to go up yeah, on a okay. bigger tyre. So, uh, and what wheels have you got here? So I have, um, I think, the world's fastest wheels for a road bike. It's yeah. a 454. Yeah, um, okay. 
I was a bit skeptical at first. I'm like, oh, here we go. You know, it's a little bit of a marketing hype. But after riding them and riding, you know, through the high country over some very nasty, windy sections and watching my mates getting blown all over the road and I'm just cutting straight through the wind. What, what I'm watching when I'm getting to the end of the ride, and I've still got plenty of energy left, um, you know, they work. They really do work. And, you know, if you're riding down Beach Road or, you know, it seems like most capital cities are around a windy, beachy area, um, try them out. They work really well. I'm really surprised. Yeah, OK. And the groups that you're running is SRAM ETAP, is it? Yeah, SRAM ETAP. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi system because I'm not getting any younger. So this okay. goes up to a, a 32 on the rear because yeah. I, I do live in the hills. I do prefer the hills. Yeah. Um, and if I need to just spin up a hill and take it easy, I can. So, you know, it's a, a compact Wi-Fi system. Yeah, so. OK. And so, Life and, and so do you use this bike all the time or what do you use it for specifically? Uh, look, this is my sunny Sunday bike. Okay, I mean, right. it, it, it's, it's um, you know, if I do a big group ride or I do a charity ride or I've got a multi-day ride, this is the bike I'll take for sure. Yeah, okay. But I've got some other bikes because, um, to be honest, I don't want to throw this one over the gravel yet. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to scratch it. Darren's asked me and told me, make sure you get it dirty. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's like getting a, a new Ferrari or a Porsche or something like that. You don't want to take those down a dirt road. That's where I'm at with this one. Right. How old is it? Uh, it's going on nearly uh, nearly 12 months. So I right. think I, I got delivered the 1st of December, so um, it's 11 months old. Yeah, OK. And what's the Orbis there? What's that? That's the, that's the model name of this bike. Right, so it's a okay. disc brake, um, bigger tyre bike. So, yeah, OK. Uh, yeah, so that's the model he has. He, he has many different... Um, uh, model names. Yep. Uh, you'd contact Darren or go to their website and have a look at that. But yep. uh, this is what he recommended for me after a long multi-year deliberation over yep. what I should be riding. This is what I ended up with and nice. um, I couldn't be any happier. Yeah. Best bike I've ever had. Thanks Darren. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>